Hello, I'm Rod Sampson, the US agent for Brunton's Propellers. I'm here today to talk about the Autoprop H6 Propeller. And what we're going to do in this little video series is show you how to rebuild one using the uh, rebuild kit that you can buy from the website and explain how to strip it down, clean it, replace the parts and put it all back together again. Okay, so you just hold out and you notice you're up to about 800, 1000 engine hours and one of your blades is a bit grindy, it's not as freely moving as the others. It's probably time that the bearings were swapped out for a fresh set. So the first thing you need to do is purchase the uh, correct bearing replacement kit. Now Autoprop have gone through several revisions during the years from ball bearings to uh, roller bearings and um, tab washers to tab screws, how they fasten it all together. So on the top of the blade there'll be an AP number and if you contact us we will be able to tell you which is the right bearing kit to get and provide you with a little tube for all the goodies like this. Next thing you're going to need is a set of the instructions. They can be downloaded from our website. Um, they do actually come inside as well. So what I'm going to do now is just explain what's in the kit and what bits that you need to do this successfully. Now a lot of people are quite daunted by doing this and it really isn't that bad. If you're a little bit mechanical minded and you don't mind um, using the odd hammer and that sort of stuff, uh, it's, it's, it's quite straightforward. Uh, in the factory it probably takes about hour and a half, two hours to do the full three blades. Obviously that's working with uh, new propellers, so there's no bottom paint on them, like on this one here. Um, everything's nice and clean. I guess it's like working on a new car compared to a, a vintage, you know, everything's expected to be rusty. So what we'll do is we'll just run through that. So the first thing you're going to get is you've got the bearing kit, we're going to need some grease. This is a, a lithium grease uh, that we use to repack um, the um, bearings once you've done it. It's the same sort of grease that you'd use on the wheel bearings of your boat trailer. High pressure waterproof grease. Um, you obviously need a grease gun, um, a smattering of um, pliers and tools. Most importantly, lots of hammers to get the, uh, the caps and everything off. And then you're going to need these special little tools. Now these are available from, from um, Brunton's. The, the problem with these is that they're, they have to be made to order, so they're, they're a little bit expensive. So we actually do rent them. Um, these, these ones here, you need your peg spanner to take off the cap. Inside, once you get off the cap, there's a, there's a tab, tab screw inside that. I'll explain that in a moment. And then inside that, there's another screw that actually holds everything together. And you need this little one here. So there's three very specific um, tools you can make. You can see these ones, you could actually manufacture these in the workshop yourself if you wanted to. This one's a little bit special. Okay, so you've got the specific tools for the propeller. You've got a wobbly propeller. You've got your grease, you get your, your, your precision instruments over there. Next, you want to delve inside what's inside here. Okay, so what this ships with, the first thing obviously is the uh, the little grease ports on each hub. There's two, uh, one here, one here. Um, little screws that you pump in the grease and once you've all finished and it's back together and everything's happy and you've got all your fingers. So little sets of grease screws with a little o-ring. Then working down, once we've taken off once we've taken off the cap here, you'll be exposed to these. Now these are left hand thread, this is a, a tab screw, this is what this, this little spanner locks into, the two little holes to wind it off. Um, it's a left hand thread, it's engraved on. And then underneath that one is the, is the locking nut that holds the blade onto the, the boss. And again you can see it fits rather nicely into the tool there. So obviously, set for each of the blades, it all comes in there. The next thing you need is the bearings. Now we've gone through several iterations of trying to find the right manufacturer and stuff and we settled on SKF. So you can actually buy these um, off the shelf. I, I know Amazon sell them. Um, I bought some for a customer that just needed one very recently. Um, so you have a thrust bearing and you have a taper roller bearing. Again it all comes in like so. The next thing you need is all the seals. So three sets of lip seals which sit at the bottom of the blade, 
and then three o-rings which sit inside let's put those out like that uh, once you put it all back together obviously very important that it all stays together so it comes with a little bit of loctite in the kit and last but not least the kit actually comes with a zinc so once you've put it all together you pop the zinc on and the little plastic um, nuts and bolts that come with it and that's what's in the kit so if you've if you've purchased it you're going to have everything to be able to do it and it's it's very straightforward um, the hardest part is breaking the seal and then breaking the uh, the Loctite on the on the on the nuts. So obviously I'm going to be doing this on a workbench in a studio, um, which is almost ideal conditions. I think I would prefer to be in the workshop. Um, so this propeller here, as you can see, is is very representative of what we see in the field. Obviously we'd have it on the shaft. Some people do take them off. Uh, just back the little. Um, uh, grub screw off here releases against the nut and then you can uh, wind the nut off and there is a prop puller that you can get from us as well to help pull the prop off it's an unusual shape it's basically just a plate three bolts and a central bolt and it just you just wind it and it just pulls it off um, once you get it onto the bench um, just good light a lot of space and then you're going to have to start doing stuff as I'm going to start in the next couple of videos as you can see on this one um, it wasn't shipped in this condition this is a uh, this is um, an ab ablative paint. Oh, there we go. This is an ablative paint. It's a bottom paint that's been, that somebody's painted. I actually picked this up off on eBay um, uh, from a shop in uh, Annapolis um, for less than, I think it was $250 I paid for this. I just wanted to have something that was in poor condition that we could rebuild and um, show you how to do it. So this is classic. Uh, I mean, we've, we've checked it. Um, AP7355, it was a... Uh, uh, Catalina Morgan 440 I think it was um, it's been painted with bottom paint so all the grease ports are absolutely seized solid the paint has gone in um, to the um, the cap on each of the blades so they're going to be an absolute nightmare to get off I've started to clean one of them up a little bit you can see just chipping away at it sort of thing so if you can't get them off with the um, with the, with the right spanner um, you're going to need a little bit of leverage if that doesn't work then a little bit of heat um, and, uh, and that should be it. So we'll just take it step by step and just show you how to do it. Thank you.